Okay, just had a little bit of time. I wanted to play the piano. I'm a Tin, one of the radiology chief residents. And I'm Tyler, one of the other radiology chief residents. And I'm Hetty, and I'm also a radiology chief resident. So since you guys can't be here in person to uh, for us to show you around, we thought that we would give you a video tour of our sections. Uh, the first one we'll start with is the breast imaging section. So right now you're standing, you can see the top of the back. This is our main atrium. We're at the Smilo North Pavilion Cancer Center Tower. Which is one of the newest buildings here on the Yale campus. Uh, it's where we do all our oncology, um, imaging, and clinical services. Uh, so come on, let's show you around. Breast imaging center. Um, so, as the patient will come in here, this is where the patients uh, will wait while they are waiting for their imaging. So, down here we have uh, so within the imaging core itself, we have two hologic uh, tomosynthesis units, and we have three ultrasound units itself. Down here we've got one of the mammography units. Here we currently have a biopsy undergoing. Uh, if you go around to the other side, And here we have another mammography room. Uh, we've got another ultrasound room here, ultrasound room there, uh, as well as here and here. And if you want to come on down to the end, biopsy room, you can do all your uh, procedures that are uh, mammography guided. Uh, and then here we have a dedicated breast MRI. Um, we won't go in there right now, I think they're scanning the patient as well. Right, now we're going to head into the reading room itself. We'll meet some of our trainees, uh, some of the attendings, and we'll say hi to the techs as well. Alright, so let's stop over here first. Hey Casey. This is Casey, hey. one of our former residents, now current breast imaging fellow. Yeah, so I'm one of the current fellows here. Uh, today we're, I'm doing MRI, uh, which we do you know, around five to ten of these a day. A lot of them are high risk screening. We have a, a very wide or large referral program, and so uh, it's a very busy center here. What made you want to stay here as a fellow, as your resident? Yeah, so I, I was a resident here. Obviously, I enjoyed my time. Um, you know, the faculty is great. They're uh, world renowned. They often give lectures throughout the nation um, on a fairly regular basis, and uh, learning from the best is a, a big reason of, of staying here. Yeah. And what, are you, what are your plans for next year? Next year, I'm actually going to uh, work with a private practice in uh, Montana. Yeah, in Billings. Awesome. Yeah. Is uh, MAMA going to be a big portion of that? It is, is that yeah. Good? It's going to be about 50 to 75%, and then the rest will be general radiology. Wonderful. Cool. Well, thank you. I'll let you get back to it. Thank Thanks, you. Casey. Uh, okay, we have Mike, one of our other residents. Hello. Hey guys. Hey Mike. How's it going? Welcome. So I am currently doing procedures this week, and so we had a wire localization that we did earlier today. Just got the specimen back, and it looks like it looks good. Nice. Yeah, things are looking good. How many uh, procedures are you doing a day or a week, do you think? Um, anywhere between 8 to 10 procedures a day, you know, in a week, if, if you're the only one doing them, you could do about... Uh, Fifty in a good week. Just you one on one with the attending? Yeah. So a lot of times it's it's just me with with the attendings. And I get to do most of it. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, anything you want to tell the applicants? Yeah. So I kind of had an inside track. I did my surgical internship here at Yale, um, and so I kind of knew what I was getting myself into. Two recommendations that I would I would make is figure out um, how the how the program retains their trainees and um, if, if it's pretty high that's probably a good sign and then two look where they go after after training here um, you want to see them doing a wide variety of stuff and being able to do that I think is, is really important too so yeah. cool thanks for your time yeah. All right.
All right, now we'll go speak with Kyle, I think, just finish up that biopsy from earlier. Yeah, it's like, here he is. We're coming in. Hello. I'll close down patient information. Yes, This please. is Kyle. This is one of our new attendings, Dr. Sheep. Hi. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Very excited Hello. to meet you all. Uh, yeah, is there anything you want to tell the applicants? Well, How's doing all day? Uh, I'm doing a MAMA oh, mini yes. fellowship. So I'm doing a body interventional fellowship, but I'd like to read MAMA in private practice. And uh, so today, we've been doing diagnostic mammograms and ultrasounds, and uh, we ran into a patient with an abscess, so I just finished draining that. And in between those, I've been reading screening mammograms, so I've read about uh, 40 of those today so far. That's pretty good. Yeah, only one. Yeah, lots of teaching that happens. Yes. Courtesy of and Dr. would you Sheet. say that I'm your favorite? 100%. <laughs> 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 and hopefully hopefully you guys are interested in breast imaging. If you're on rotation with me at any point, I will convince you to do breast imaging, hence that's why he loves it so much. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You're new to Yale. Anything I am. Like, I am. You to us specifically? Uh, the residents. I heard they were super cool. Well, there you go. And super smart. We are really cool and very yeah. smart. <laughs> really, really. Pretty awesome. But I think it's nice because it's a really large department. And so if you come to residency here, you guys have lots of people you can become friends with, lots of people who you can work with. Uh, I heard that attendings are really nice. I actually haven't met many of them, so it's <laughs> uh, That's COVID times. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great time. I hope you really pick Yale. Yale's fantastic. And uh, I'm happy to be here. I hope we meet you guys. Great Thank bad. you very much. Yeah. We'll leave you guys too. Sounds good. Okay. All right, so now we'll go next door to the procedure room. So have the, yeah, yeah. who's see who's here. We have Penny again. Uh, yeah, this is Leva, one of our other attendings. Uh, she's also on the selection committee. Um, anything you want to tell us about how you got to Yale or background? Sure, absolutely. Uh, my name is Leva Kegeva. I am an associate professor at Yale. I've been here since 2005. If you don't count undergraduates, you know, back in mm -hmm. 1992 to 96. But um, so I, I came here to do my fellowship and then I stayed because I really think it's a great place to work. I think we do really good patient care and I love working with the residents. We have a great residency program. We also have a fellowship, of course. Um, but I love having residents on breast service. Um, we keep them very busy. Um, yep. All residents um, uh, go through, uh, rotate through um, diagnostic and screening mammography, which we do a lot of. Uh, we have a significant high-risk population. We have a high-risk clinic, so patients who are at elevated risk for breast cancer. So we do a large amount of breast MR, um, uh, which residents uh, are involved in from their first rotation. And they also um, get involved in biopsies during their first rotation. I expect um, the residents to be able to perform biopsies by the time they graduate. Um, so initially, of course, we ease them in. I do a workshop with them to make sure they know how to use the devices. And I, um, um, you know, we do a lot of a lot of teaching and um, make sure people get comfortable. So hopefully, by the time residents graduate, they can um, obviously do needle localizations. Um, but I also ideally like them to be able to do pretty advanced um, biopsies. Many of our faculty um, are engaged in research and, and um, residents are encouraged to pursue projects. Um, they, there's plenty of pro projects involved. Um, there are plenty of projects that are available in breast imaging that, um, that if residents are interested. So yes, and um, our uh, facility was one of the first to actually uh, both do um, tomosynthesis and also a screening ultrasound. So many of the projects that are, were, uh, are being done here are tied to either screening ultrasound or um, um, tomosynthesis. So we do a lot of um, mm -hmm. research about that and many of our residents um, have actually pub published seminal mm -hmm. papers on these topics. So mm -hmm. it's definitely an opportunity to get involved in some really interesting cutting edge research. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, guys. Uh, see you, Hedy. <laughs> hey, guys. Hedy again, one of the chiefs. Uh, so just wanted to give you a little rundown of what my month has been like uh, on MAMO. Um, so we go through a lot of different rotations on MAMO. One of them is a week of biopsies, which I'm on. It's great. This is actually one of the biopsy rooms where we do ultrasound. So patients come in here, 
we use the machine and we have a variety of different biopsy devices. Um, so you get to learn on everything, different techniques from different attendings from other different world-class institutions come here and they impart their knowledge on us. So it's really great. Um, another rotation on MAMO is the DIAGS rotation where it's you and an attending one-on-one, -on -one, no fellow in between. Patients come in for diagnostic imaging, you go in and you scan the patients yourself. Um, without the tech, the tech's there to help you and the attending there to help you, but you're doing a lot of the scanning yourself and problem solving. Um, we also have a bunch of other sites that are outpatient, that are more community screening, also diagnostics, also some biopsies going on. We go to Divine, where again, it's just one-on-one -on -one with the attending, no fellow in the way. You have your own workstation, you have your own setup for MAMO, the own device for MAMO, so everything is really geared towards education. Um, that's pretty much the three rotations that we do. Uh, we also, you guys heard from Casey, we do the MR rotation. I was on that also alone. Junior residents will be on that also alone. So you get a lot of exposure to the bar. Reading anywhere from, you know, three to 12 MRs a day. If you're not reading MRs, you're reading other outside studies. You're going over them with the attending. You're learning how to put them in the computer and in the system and what to look for. We also have tumor board, um, which residents also run at times, fellows run at times. The attendings are really there, they coach you through. It's not like you're just there by yourself and attending is assigned to you and they walk you through the cases. You go over them before you do the tumor board and we give you know, very our conversation and our thoughts and ideas to the pathologist, the breast surgeons and the oncologist. So it's a very involved rotation very patient-centered. They've done a really great job here of making sure that that's the case. Um, and it's very positive for the residents and the trainees. So I hope that was helpful. All right, guys. Yeah, that's the uh, mammal section. Um, that's how the rotation runs here. And over the next couple of weeks, we'll go over the other sections and rotations. You'll meet the residents, meet the fellows, meet the faculty, and uh, we'll go from there. Hope to see everyone soon.